Hey everyone, welcome to day two of Fully Charged Live at Darling Harbour here in Sydney at the International Convention Centre. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, walking through the front doors now. Let's see what we can find inside. Looking forward to having a great day today. So let's start with the NRMA. There we go. Major sponsor, of course. And I believe some of their trucks now have got uh, recharging facilities to, uh, to help with you know, range anxiety, I guess. There we go. There's a uh, EV charger right there, which is great. Okay, so we're with Michael today from the NRMA, who's going to show us a, one of these uh, Ranger vehicles. Go ahead, Michael. So what we have here is a vehicle that's got a 52 volt uh, lithium ion battery in the back there. If you can see it just under the red ramp there. So it's not these batteries here, but the one that's it there. And it goes through our inverter. And we can do seven kilowatts there. And that can get you about, after 20 minutes, get you about a 10 kilometer distance. So hopefully we can get you out of trouble. If it's any further out, then it's probably on the back of a tow truck. But most people don't break down who've got EVs. They're pretty switched on. Yeah, and how many trucks have you got with this capacity? At the moment, we've got two. Um, one in Canberra, one in Sydney. But hopefully, they're planning on actually um, uh, rolling out dedicated EV vehicles if this is a successful trial. Thanks, Michael. Thanks to the NRMA. Thank you. No travel. So we've got my energy, of course, the Sappy guys. We will come and chat to them, of course, but I just want to give you an overview. First, nice stand too, nice and green. It fits with their branding. Different types of Zappies. Come and chat to them and find out what they're about. Oh, I love seeing the different stalls and what they do with them. It's good. It's very good. Okay. Okay, so I've got Russell from Zappi. Tell us all about your stand, Russell. Tesla Tom, how are you going? I feel like a rock star with this microphone now. Thank you so much. Do you want a song or do you want to talk about the Zappies? Cool. All right, cool. Excellent. Uh, so, Zap, uh, Zappi V2 is here uh, in black and in white, tethered, untethered, 7 kilowatt, 22 kilowatt can uh, charge from solar exclusively, can make sure you don't empty your battery while you charge your car as well, uh, and give you give the complete whole of home view on your solar, solar usage and consumption, and really can take control of your, your solar and your energy usage within your home. In addition, you've also got, come around this way, Eddie, which is my favorite product, my personal favorite, uh, allows you to have free hot showers every morning. Thanks, Russell. Thanks for your time. Take it easy. Thanks, buddy. Thank Bye. Uh, we do need some of more, more credit card tap and go type things to make it easier for the adoption. Okay, so this is an interesting exhibit. This is the Electronautic Wave Fly of Air. It says here Australia's first auto stabilizing electro hydrofoil watercraft. And here are the specs down here. So we've got uh, capacity up to two adults, 200 kilograms, and it can go up to four hours at 100 kilometers of range. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so there we go, here's the wave flyer. Let's have a quick look inside here. Little screen there. And seating for two, there's the back of it. Amazing. Looks incredible. On, uh, on the stand there. Electro Nordic, here at Fully Charged Live Australia. Okay, so I've got Josh from Wave Flyer. Hey, Josh. Hey, great to see you, Tom. Okay, in 60 seconds, tell me about the Waveflyer. Waveflyer is an actively stabilized hydrofoil propulsion system. So it's got a wave drive down here. That's what it flies on with the two thrusters and four control surfaces. Comfortable bench seat, so you can share that with a passenger or a couple of kids if you want. And up to 250 kilos of payload, up to four and a half hours endurance. Best way to experience the water. Um, and uh, can you hire one of these for the weekend? Eventually, that's the plan. For now, we're selling them and we are working with rental fleet owners to operate them on places like the Sydney Harbour. Fantastic. Thank you, Josh, for your time. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Good one. Okay, so there's the ABB stall. Let's walk over there. Hope you're enjoying this coverage, everyone. Just walking and talking. Try not to cut. Just trying to be an exhibitor. Or rather, a uh, viewer or visitor. I'll get my words right eventually. i uh, just uh, giving you the experience and uh, the ABB stand. I've uh, covered them a few times but they do good products. There's a portable DC charger right there. And look at that, this is a Formula E car right up close in the flesh so to speak. 
I've always wanted to see one of these cars up close. They're just an amazing piece of machinery. If you've ever watched a Formula E race, they the key, as you know, Formula One, it's all about tire management, but in Formula E, it's really about battery energy management. And they do finish the race with like 1% or even less. Sometimes they've got to roll over the line. And it's just incredible to see what they can do these days. So, there you go, there's a Formula E Gen 2. They're up to Gen 3 at the moment in 2023, but they are all the specs there. Maximum power, 250 kilowatts. Race mode, 200 kilowatts. Sometimes they've got these attack modes where they can go a bit faster. It's acceleration, 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. Super quick. Using 18 inch Michelin tires. They look amazing. They look even more amazing up close. Very cool. The dream is to hopefully go and visit one of these Formula E races one day. Even better, hopefully come to Australia. We shall see. Oh, look, Formula E stickers. Come back and grab one of these. There you go. Some more ABB chargers, and we do see them along the uh, highways uh, on road trips. Notably for Sydney to Melbourne, we do see them. This one in Vanuatu North, one in Euroa, a couple in Euroa. Thank you, ABB. All right, so check this out, everyone. This is the very first Formula E car, apparently, on Australian soil as we walk around. This is a Gen 2 vehicle. If you've ever seen any Formula E racing uh, event, they are just amazing vehicles. We know in Formula 1 it's all about tyre management, but Formula E is all about uh, battery management. And you'll see sometimes these cars, cars just roll over the line with like 1%, sometimes even less, sometimes with no energy, getting pushed by other cars. So it's so good to see this in Australia. Hopefully we'll see a Formula E event uh, on Australian soil uh, in the not too distant future. And thank you very much to ABB uh, for bringing this car for us to look at here in Fully Charged Live, Sydney, Australia. Okay, so I'm with Steve from ABB. Hey Steve, how's it going? Uh, good Tom, how are you doing? Very well, thanks. Yeah, so how good is this show, oh, hey? That's fantastic. So Steve, <laughs> three questions for you. Sure. Uh, what is ABB about? So ABB is a, a, a high voltage, low voltage, medium voltage supplier. Uh, we're, we're involved in everything from right the way through the group plus uh, charging. And uh, yeah, so we're here with the chargers, which is, as you can see, and that awesome looking Formula E behind us. Yeah, what's the best thing about working uh, at or for ABB? Obviously doing a show like this, to be honest, mate. I mean, really, the uh, we've got such a wide variety of products that we can actually play with, um, and everybody is interested, the interest is just amazing. So we've got products that we can actually do all sorts of charging with, DC's our specialty. Beautiful, and what's yeah. the future of electric vehicles in Australia? Future of electric vehicles in Australia, I think if you judge by this crowd, it's going to be absolutely very positive, it's huge. Um, seriously, I've never been to such an exciting show, so uh, been great to catch up with you and I really appreciate it. Thanks Steve, thanks for your time. No worries. Okay, I just wanted to quickly focus on EV, I didn't actually walk around that stand earlier, but thanks again to EV, or maybe I did, I can't remember, but there it is. The EV stand, and they are the principal sponsors for today, or one of the main sponsors for today anyway. And there's the big EV bird right there, so thank you EV. Okay, so we're with Jeff from EV. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Good Tom, you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Three questions for you. What's EV all about? EV is passionate about the EV driving experience. We're building a public fast charging network right across the country. What's the best thing about working at EV? We have the most amazing, passionate people that we, uh, get in and get the job done and work for each other, which is uh, equally amazing. What's the future of electric vehicles in Australia? Australia's past the tipping point. If you're not thinking about an EV, you should be, and we will be in mass adoption over the next five, ten years. Oh yeah, I love that. Thanks, Jeff. Have a great show. Thank you. EV up. Great to see so many uh, displays here today. We'll come back and have a chat with them. Oh, EV Energy, yes. Yes, I wanted to check this out, actually. We'll come back and have a closer look at that. They look really interesting, these blueberry chargers. EV Lucian, Evolution. Got the same stand, so they must be associated. Okay, so here we're here at the EV Energy stand with Christian, who's going to give us a little pitch about the charger. Thanks, Christian. Thanks for that. So uh, we're here today, we've just launched the Blueberry Charger into the market. Um, so availability between 50 kilowatts and 600 kilowatts of charging. Um, so really impressive user uh, experience. 
We have the ability to um, go through your charge. Everything's nice and clear. You can set your different charge rates, your maximum state of charge, the amount of energy that you want to put into the vehicle, and you can simply uh, add that in, save your change, press start, and away you go. So the charger also has electronic cable management, which is really great for um, you know things like disability charging standards uh, and just taking away that heavy weight of uh, charging. Uh, also, ability to do simultaneous charging, which is great. Thanks. Thanks, Christian. Thanks for your time.